Everybody is a community supporter. Please raise your hand so that you can be recognized and be thanked. because we have a 24-hour strike that starts at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning, but the hospital has chosen to lock us out at 7 o'clock tonight through 6 a.m. on Wednesday. And we are only on strike for 24 hours. Our strike starts at 6 a.m. and ends at 6 a.m. on Tuesday. And we will try to go to work on Tuesday morning and just, well, they won't let us in, we assume. Their claim also is that we're not allowed to strike. <laughs> because the nurses are demanding to bargain over this. Here's one of the big issues that the nurses are demanding to bargain over. This place is so short-staffed that day in, day out, nurses can never tell their families or tell themselves when they're going to be home. People scheduled for eight-hour shifts sometimes don't go get home until after 11 hours, 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours. You never know when you're going to be home. When you're home! You never know when you're going to be home because you're being called in constantly because there's not enough people. Even with a strike looming, they just published a schedule for the biggest unit in the hospital, the medical surgical telemetry unit that had 230 holes in it for the next six weeks. So, so before anybody takes a vacation, before anybody is sick, they can't even articulate how they would populate the schedule for a six week period. But they are absolutely refusing to bargain over anything related to workload, anything related to hiring. But when we strike, when we announce we're striking, they say you can't do that. You can't do that. You operate at our beck and call. And we will come down with you with the full furor of the law if you don't come to work on Monday. Because we own you. Yeah. I'm Eric. I work for uh, Jobs with Justice. Um, and I just wanted to acknowledge how many different labor unions and community groups are here. I know we have um, the Hampshire Franklin, Patrick from the Hampshire Franklin yeah. Central Labor Council. <laughs> Partner Elizabeth from Geo. We have uh, Judy mentioned the FCCPR. SEIU 509 is here. UAW is here. Pat from the Carpenters is here. The MTA is here. The MTA is here. The MTA is, here. The MTA is always here. MSP is here. The letter carriers are here. Uh, I'm Donna Stern, and I'm a, I'm a proud nurse, registered nurse here at Bay State Franklin Medical Center. And what this is about, and let's, let's make this perfectly, perfectly clear that this is a Springfield agenda. Absolutely a Springfield agenda. It is Springfield that has been running these negotiations, and it's Springfield who has locked its nurses out. Shame on you! Shame on you! to go into that hospital and you deserve to be taken care of 
by a registered nurse and you deserve to be taken care of by a CNA and a mental health counselor and everybody who has the right number of staff and the right resources to take care of you safely. That's what you deserve. We all deserve that. That's what this fight is about. Don't let them tell you it's about something else. It's about safe staffing. This is what it's about. And we will be out here, and we will continue to be out here, and we will be out here Tuesday, and we will be out here Wednesday. And even when they try to tell us we can't be out here, oh yes, yes, Bay State, you don't own everything. No, you don't. And we're going to make sure that they know that. They, yeah. and we're going to make sure that they know that. And they're not going to forget that.